Welcome back Bazigas. In poker, there are multiple moves you can make when the action is on you. Today, we will be learning what these moves are and how they work. Let's take you to a poker table and understand each action. Let's start with fold. Fold simply means letting go of the cards in your hand and exiting the round that is being played if any player bets before you in a particular stage. If you fold after putting in chips in the previous stages of the same round, you have to let go of them as well. Folding is saying, I don't want to continue in this round and want to exit it. For example, let's say you are on the dealer position of a 5-10 stakes table. Now, if player 3 who has to act first pre-flop is dealt 8 of clubs, king of hearts and does not want to put in any chips in the pot, they can simply fold and get out of the hand. Now, let's say all other players match the big blind bet by putting in rupees 10, the small blind puts in additional rupees 5 and the big blind checks. The flop is 10 of spades, 10 of clubs, 4 of hearts. Here, small blind who has ace of diamonds, 10 of diamonds raises to rupees 30. The big blind can now choose to fold and exit the round without putting any more chips. It's the same for every player when their turn comes in a clockwise direction. Whichever player decides to fold here will forego the rupees 10 put in the pot by them in the previous stage, which was pre flop. Now let's talk about check. Checking or using the check option means passing your turn to the next player in a clockwise direction. In the pre-flop stage, only big blind gets the option to check if no other player raises in that stage. Post-flop, this action is available to all the players when no one has raised before their turn comes. When you check, you are saying, I want to continue playing this round, but I don't want to put in any more chips as of now. Let's take another example where player 3, player 4, player 5 and the dealer match the big blind by putting in rupees 10. Small blind puts in additional rupees 5 to make the total bet of rupees 10. Now since big blind has already put in rupees 10, they need not put any additional chips and can choose to check, after which the flop will be dealt. Now after the flop has been dealt, small blind can check and pass on the action to big blind, who can in turn pass on the option to the next player and so on till it reaches the dealer button. If all the players check, the next card called turn is dealt. The next action we discuss is the call. Call means to match or put in the amount of chips equal to the largest raise made on the table before you. When you call, you are saying I am happy to match your raise and want to see what happens next. For example, you are sitting on a 510 table in the early position with 10 of spades and jack of spades. Since this hand is reasonably good to play with, as mentioned in our chapter of hand strength, you can match the big blind of rupees 10 to stay in the hand. The next action to discuss is raise. When you increase the number of chips required to continue playing the round, you are raising. Now everyone either needs to match your raise by calling it if they want to continue in the round, fold their hand if they want to exit the round or make a bigger raise than yours by putting in more chips than you. When you raise, you are saying, I want to put in more chips in the pot and now everyone has to decide if they want to continue in this round as well. Continuing the same example, let's say you have 10 of spades, 10 of clubs on dealer position and everyone before you folds. Now we all know that's a very good hand pre-flop as we already have a big pair in our hand. This hand can easily be raised with so instead of putting only rupees 10, you decide to put rupees 30 so that you are able to win a larger pot. Alternatively, even if another player has raised, you can further raise him or re-raise him with a hand this strong. For example, player 3 raises to rupees 20, other players fold and you raise it further to 60 rupees. Now all the players will have to at least match your re-raise if they wish to continue playing in this round. In some situations, a re-raise can be all-in, which is the action we discuss next. So what is an all-in? A raise made with all the chips that you have is known as an all-in. When you go all-in, you are saying, I am willing to put all my chips in this hand. The other players have four options now. They either need to call your all-in by matching it with an equal amount of chips or further raising it if they have more chips than you or put in all their chips even if they have less or fold. Let's take an example. We're on a 5-10 stakes, 
The stats are as follows. Small blind 200, big blind 400, player 3 350, player 4 500, player 5 400 and dealer 300. Pre-flop everyone matches the big blind by putting in rupees 10. The flop is ace, king and 3. Here small blind has ace and king so he decides to go all in. Big blind folds, player 3 with aces also goes all in. Player 4, player 5 and dealer fold. Here since player 3 has 340 chips and small blind has 190, only 190 chips will go into the pot and the additional 150 chips that player 3 had will go back to him and the game will continue with 440 chips in the pot between these two players. Let's say the turn is 9 and the river is 10. Here player 3 will win this pot with 3 of a kind aces against small blinds, 2 pairs of aces and kings. Now let's take another example. Let's say on 510 stakes, the stacks are as follows. Small blind, 800. Big blind, 300. Player 3, 500. Player 4, 1000. Player 5, 900. And dealer, 150. Everyone calls the big blind pre-flop and the flop is king to 9. Here, small blind has 9-9 and decides to go all in with 790 remaining chips. Everyone except the dealer folds. The dealer has king king and only 140 chips left. So the dealer calls the small blinds all in with 140 chips. The turn is 2 and the river is 4. Here they will be playing for 140 plus 140 or 280 chips plus the 60 chips that were in the pot before the flop opened. So a total of 340 chips. Since the dealer has made a full house with three of a kind kings and a pair of twos and small blind has made a full house with three of a kind nines and a pair of twos, the dealer will win this hand. In an all-in situation between two players with uneven stacks, the total chips that go into the pot are what the lower stack has. The higher stack gets back the extra chips. A player can go all-in in any stage of the round, be it pre-flop, on-flop, on the turn or on the river and those are the five options you will have to choose from at the poker tables which one to choose and when to choose well that's what poker is all about thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next chapter